up and get off Kyle Dalvit here against Calvin Hampton. Hampton at 6'10", Dalvit at 7 feet, or 6'11", in my mistake. Whoops. The tip will be won by Vancouver, and we are underway up in the front court. Sadeo Doyle will dump it down inside the paint, turning, spinning, putting up the shot, having it partially blocked with Morris as getting a hand on it that time was Nick Moore, rebounded by Dalvit, left here for Moe as he'll bring it up in the offensive end. Nick Moore has missed a handful of games here for Bellingham. Nice to see him out yes. there on the floor. Good timing. Jacob Stevenson with it, holding it high over his head. He'll kick it right on the catch. Moe, back out top side. Freeman catch and shoot in and out. Will not go for Sam. And the rebound is cleared here by Vancouver. Back down the other way. Murray, guess what? Three ball up. Nope, will not go. Long rebound caroms out. It'll be grabbed here by Corey Largent. Largent tried to force it on the pass inside to Morris. Knocked loose. Morris will get it back. Cross court. They'll dump it down inside the lane. Fall away jumper by Hampton along the baseline is good. Calvin Hampton, the 6'10 center out of Oregon State, gets it to fall. Did we have a different number on that one? I heard the PA announcer announce it as Morris, but that was clearly 34. That was. Bucket. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Ball to the elbow. Trying on the step through is Moore. He'll kick it back out. Freeman, jumper off from three-point land. No good. Long outlet all the way down to Murray. He Can he save it from going out of bounds? He does. Now, a bump foul here, so he'll save it to Largent, and Largent will get bumped by Jacob Stevenson over by the courtside seats, and he almost gets sent sprawling. Jacob tried to stop his momentum, bring it back the other way, but hard contact with Largent. Whistle will stop the play right after the inbound. Looks like the shot clock did not start. They will reset it. Glad to have you listening along. A tragic end to our World Cup matchup. That was too bad. The U.S. against Portugal. Portugal scoring in the final 30 seconds to turn that one from a U.S. victory into a draw. Oh. Glad to have you listening along. Thursday, huge game against Germany for Team USA. All of it on KPG beginning at 8.30 in the morning. A miss on one end, a rebound by Bellingham, but they can't get a good shot on the other end as Moore throws up an air ball quickly back down the other way. Nobody will catch up to a streaking Corey Largent, and he'll lay it up and in with a right hand. 4-0 our score. Right now, Bellingham a little out of sync. Remember, they're without... There's Stalwart in the middle, in their big center. We miss you, Blake. Cool. Yes. A miss down on one end by Mo, and quickly back down the other way. And getting fouled is Sedale. No, Doyle just lost it. I thought they were going to call a foul there on Mo, racing back down the other way. Freeman will beat everybody back to the baseline, coming over, getting a piece of his arm, and drawing the foul is Largent. The pace is quick, but Bellingham yet to get a bucket here. 9.44 left to go here in this opening quarter. Final regular season game here for the Bellingham Slam. All turns to the playoffs coming up. Next weekend, we're going way south. Free throw shot up and good. The playoffs will be held at the O'Connell Sports Complex at Clark College in Vancouver. Free throw shot, second one is up and good. 4-2 our score. Dribbled up across the timeline. It'll be brought up by Doyle. He'll bounce it down inside the paint, get a return pass, fake the shot. Whip the pass into Morris, who has trouble. Back out to Doyle, he'll take a three and swish it home. So Dale Doyle makes it a 7-2 ball game. Slam do not look like themselves out here on the floor. Not yet. Ball outside of the circle to Nick Moore. He'll turn, feed the cutter. Jacob Stevenson at the free throw line. Goes to the elbow, puts up the jumper. Short, rebound tip. Dalvit will get it, put it back up and in. Not ideal position, but Kyle just kept that high right hand with the ball in it. Kissed it off the window and in. 7-4, our score. Bounce pass down along the baseline. Stop, pop. No good from Hampton that time from 11 feet out. Rebound to Bellingham. Low on the push. Goes behind the back. Cuts down the middle of the lane. Feeds Dalvit. Dalvit dips underneath the defender. Throws one up with a right hand. Little half hook and it rattles and falls. Well, kind of a pick and roll. Set a beautiful screen. Got the return pass. Another high right hand up and in. 7-6 to six our score. Largent cuts down to the free throw line. Kicks it back out. Stop. Pop. Three ball up. No good. That time for Morris. Rebound. Corralled by Bellingham. They can take the lead on this possession. Mo drives. Draws 
has a double team. Out to Moore. Left to right. Throws one up through the lane. No good. Dalvit the rebound. The put back off the glass. Up and in. Kyle, welcome back to the slam. Big fella. Six quick points. He gives Bellingham the lead at 8-7. to seven. Murray in the offensive end. Throws it away. Right to Moore. Moore will race down to the other end. Murray giving chase. Bumped him. And the reverse layup. That time too hard off the glass by Moore. Rebounded by Murray. He'll race down. Stop just inside the free throw circle. And splash on the jumper. If we had to name a biggest slam killer in league history, it's probably that gentleman right there, Andre Murray of the Vancouver Volcanoes. By the way, Shahabas Tapscott on line one for you wants to talk. Has a differing opinion. There you go. Ball topside now here to Stevenson. He'll cut the baseline high off oh, the glass and a little half spin move there by Jacob. And the lead goes back to Bellingham, 10-9. 7.40 left to go here in a fast-paced first quarter. Ball pops side on the dribble. Murray lobs it down inside on the overplay that time by Dalvin. He can't catch up to it, and Calvin Hampton catches it, redirects it up and in. 11-10, back and forth. A one-point lead here for Vancouver. Top of the floor for Mo. The work off of the Dalvit screen right. Hampton steps out defensively. Now gives him room from the three-point oh, yeah. And how about that? Mo line drives one home. Easy as you please. Smooth stroke, Mo Anderson. Former member of the Bellingham Slam, also Western Washington University forward David Brittman in the house. First time we have seen him taking in a game this year. Ball to the left, just inside the circles. The jumper up by Largent, no good. Rebound underneath. Hampton just cleared people out. Pulls it down, bangs it off of the glass, up and in. Quickly racing back down the other way. Mo with the dribble, works with the left hand. Cuts across the lane, stops, lobs towards the corner. Ball tipped out, saved by Jacob. Stevenson will turn, drive, stops at the elbow, threw it to nobody. Was. Looking for Nick Moore and threw it out of bounds. He threw it to Moore like Nick was going to be on the move. Nick had set his feet for a three, so the ball just floats up. We're all tied at 13. Six and a half left to go here in the opening quarter at the Watkin Pavilion. Volcanoes with the ball. Ball dumped in. Murray backing his way down and leaving it short that time is Brian Morris. Morris will... Did Hampton pick no, up? No, Morris, Morris got his own tip. Back. Yep. 15-13 our score. Between the wickets with the dribble here is Mo. He'll race past Sadeo Doyle. Get down inside the lane. Kick it over to the corner. Morg makes the catch. Nick won't take the shot. Instead, back up to Mo. Cuts down the lane. Double pops off. Glass up and in. Mo gets it to fall. 15 all our score. Long jumper up from three-point land by Murray that will not go. Rebound comes out to Doyle. He'll race over the left elbow. Jumper up. No good. Rebound Nick Moore. Here comes Bellingham, all tied at 15, more across the timeline. Middle of the floor as he'll cut left, look like he carried the ball, no call. Get it over to Freeman, he'll take a triple, online but short. Rebound, Caroms out. Going to be grabbed here by Doyle. Long lob pass, tips off of the hands that time, too tall for Brian Morris and goes out of bounds. Turnover here against the Vancouver Volcanoes. First time out on the floor here. Measure. Just when you thought summer couldn't get any better, the Home Depot has 15% off in-store patio furniture. So I'm really back in about 20. A lot less. Give the attention it deserves and your friends the invitation they've been looking for. The party's on. Make your place. Let's do this. 15% off in-store patio. Back in five. Thank you. That's Thank you. The Home Depot. All supplies last year at some new products and prices may vary by store. Just come take and register. Welcome back, back a little bit early to the action here, back a little late for us. And <laughs> both teams with a run down to the other side of the floor, no results. Now a third straight turnover here as it's thrown away by Nick Moore to large it. Corey will race down, have it blocked from behind as it goes out of bounds. Couple of players, I'm not sure if Moore got that or if that was Jacob Stevenson. I think they each get half a block, each got a hand on the ball, swatted that one to the back wall. Chaz Cock will check in for Kyle Dalvit. Rico was trying to check in, but they won't let him check in. They so waved him off. Wait for the next dead ball. The ball will come down inside the paint. Little turnaround half hook that won't go for Hampton. Bust out here for Mo. He'll race down. Lost control of it. Tried to save it from going out of bounds. Does to Freeman. Freeman. Couple of dribbles beyond the three-point ring. Sam little crossover move. Dances inside the paint. Lost control of the basketball. Stolen away. Long outlet to Murray. All the way down to the other end. Lamp is good with a right hand. Quickly back down the other way. Mo with it. He'll work left. Go to the baseline. Double team. Lead it for the trailer. Chaz Cock. Three ball in and out. Rebound Jacob. Left it short on his put back, but a foul will be called. 
And Jacob will go to the free throw line here for two shots. Bellingham trailing 17-15 here to the Vancouver Volcanoes. Jacob Stevenson has made a very good IBL career out of being in the right place at the right time, just like he was for that follow right there. Couldn't get it to go, but he got smacked good and hard on the arm. So we'll see if Jacob can do it from the line. Shot up and short. Rico will check in. Rico Wilkins, a Western Washington University star on that national championship team in 2012. He'll check in. Freeman to the bench. Jacob gets the second free throw to fall. 17-16. Nobody stops Murray and he cuts winding through traffic all the way through the paint and lays it up and in on the left side. A little defense. Just bad news. Jacob will bring it up into the offensive end. Smaller lineup out there on the floor with Dalvin on the bench now here for Bellingham. A crossover and a bounce pass. Stevenson to Chas Pock drives inside the lane. Going to get blocked and fouled. Was getting a piece of him that time was Calvin Hampton. One of the pieces that we noticed with this team, Doug, they could use a hot shooting Chaz Cock the way he looked at the end of last season. If he could get that form back, that would be a big favor for Bellingham. He shot confidently just a moment ago, but his first three attempt did not go. Chaz to the stripe. Free throw shot. No good. Substitution. Checking in. For Vancouver is J.R. Moore. He will replace Calvin Hampton. J.R. Moore, 6'9 out of Portland State, and he is a lot of man. Another miss at the free throw line. Quickly back down the other way. Larchin had kind of cherry picked down to the other end, got the long pass, took it to the rack, lays it up and in with the right hand. Corey Larchin gives it Vancouver their largest lead of five at 21 16. Ball to Jacob to the left elbow, steps inside, puts the jumper up, won't go. Rebound grabbed off here by Moore. He'll outlet, bounces off of the hands of Murray, stolen back here by Jacob. They've got numbers on the other end. Boot up for Nick Moore, sets his feet for a three. Got it. Bet. Nick Moore on the left side, drains a triple. And with 3.15 left to play in the first quarter, it's 21 19, a two point lead for Vancouver. Ball bounced down inside the paint. Moore tries to back his way down, cannot back out. Murray, three ball splash. Former league MVP, Andre Murray, nine points already. Ball slowly on the walk up here, top of the floor here for Mo. He'll leave it top of the circle now for Jacob. Cuts, spins against the double team. Turns, back out top side on the catch. It's Nick Moore through the lane. Leaves Rico open for a three. Got it. Rico with a nice triple that time. And he splashes it home. 24-22. Murray hits the cutter down inside the lane. Will jump hook with a right hand up and in for Kevin West. Just in the 6-3 guard out of Concordia in Oregon. He'll make it a four-point ball game. 26-22. Cut down inside the lane. Rico beat Andre Murray as he crossed him over and easily lays it up and in with a left hand. Andre Murray is quick. He has kind of a smirk on his face. He just got out quick by Rico that time. Murray, lob pass in. Moore with it against the smaller defender and Jacob shot up, rolls in and out, won't go. Jacob gets the rebound. Gives the outlet here to Rico, who crosses the timeline, races down. Cuts past Moore, gets down inside the paint, leaves it for Mike Moore, who goes up, has it blocked, it'll go out of bounds. Blocked that time by Gio Bain. Gio, seven-footer out of southern Mississippi. Well, let's give uh, Jacob Stevenson some defensive credit at the other end. Only in air quote 6-4, but he's normally defending a bigger guy. He does that about as well as anybody we've seen. On the bounce pass, the cut from baseline up. Mo Anderson makes the catch, turns, spins, and splashes it home. All tied at 26. A minute 33 left to go here in the opening quarter. Gio Bain turns and dunks on top of Nick Moore. Wow. There's the in-your-face disgrace right there. Seven-footer just slams Yikes. it home. No hesitation. Three subs on the bench for Vancouver are enjoying that one. Bounce pass comes top of the circle now here to Jacob Stevenson. He'll flare it over to the corner. Moore makes the catch. Pump fakes, goes baseline. Splashy line drives that one home. 
First quarter action brought to you by Westside Pizza, located just across the street on the corner of Kellogg and Cordata. Mention tonight's opponent, the Vancouver Volcanoes. Volcanoes. After the game and receive any large pizza for just 10 bucks. Westside Pizza, where it's all about the pizza. Ball thrown away by Vancouver. Grabbed off here. Bellingham will bring it up. Rico down inside the lane. Throws up the runner with the right hand. He'll get fouled. And Rico will have to earn him here at the free throw line. 49 seconds in the quarter. Rico Wilkins had scored on back-to-back -back possessions with a three-pointer. And with a mid-range jumper, took this one a little further in. Tried a high-floating right-hander. Didn't go, but Rico got hacked. And we'll see if he can get a couple from the line right here. Shot up. Ah, in and out. No good. Bellingham having trouble at the free-throw line here tonight. Like Doug said, Rico was a fixture on that 2012 National Championship team for Western Washington. Not many in Watkins County have been more fun to watch in the last handful of years than Rico Wilkins. Rico gets the second free throw of fall. One point lead for Bellingham. Coastside Bond out of Japan has just checked into the ball game here for Bellingham. Working in the backcourt. Murray will lose Chas Cocken. Oh, it's just Ray Ohoma three ball deep on the left side. 31-29. Try not to groan every time he does that, but Andre Murray just a killer with 12 points already. Ball shoveled topside now here to Jacob Stevenson. Crosses over, dances down inside the paint, and a foul will be given up here by Vancouver. Jacob, the veteran, has switched to the left hand. He's been doing this long enough where he had the presence of mind to put the shot up. That'll send him to the free throw line for a couple. Stevenson at the free throw line. First one up and good. 25.2 seconds left. Galvitt will check back in here. Nick Moore will go to the bench. Second shot, that is good. Jacob gets them both to go, 31 apiece here. About a second differential between game and shot clocks that's brought up here by Sadeo Bora. They'll wear down some clock, bounce it into the hands now here of Moore, way beyond the circle working against Jacob. Eight seconds left to go here. He'll dribble it once, leave it for Doyle. Doyle lost his man, drives towards the paint, scoops way up, up and good with 1.7 seconds left. Inbound comes to Rico at the half point line. Good if it goes, and oh. gets off of the front iron at the buzzer. And we're all tied at Kurt Nowen. Also out there, Kevin West and Sedale Doyle. Red uniforms with the blue numerals, white trim for the Volcanoes. Wow, a little 2-3 zone here. How about that? <laughs> Ball dumped over to the corner for Mo. He'll try a three that won't go, but we'll get a foul called here. Shades of the NBA as the three-ball shooter getting fouled. It was a, a running theme throughout the playoffs this last postseason for the NBA. And we saw it a couple of nights ago, actually not a couple of nights ago, last week in Blaine and the game before that as well. A lot of fouls given up here. Beyond the three-point ring, three shots upcoming here for Mo. Mo Anderson ended up on the seat of his pants, so he'll get up, dust himself off, and see if he can do it from the line right here. Free, first free throw shot is no good as it bounces off of the back iron. Just underway in the second quarter. Glad to have you along here. 33-31 our score. Doug Lang, Mark Skolton with you here on KPUG and online at KPUG1170.com. Free throw shot is up and good. Mo to double figures with 10. Second shot upcoming. And that one is good as well. Two of three ties us up at 33 apiece. Doyle on the offensive end. Double screen here at the right elbow. It'll come down inside to the hands of Brian Morris. He'll bounce it back out to Doyle. They'll reset to Morris. Give it to Bain. They'll bump it into Moore. Moore bangs off of Jacob Stevenson. Pushes it off of the window up and in. And Moore, though, is hurt. Moore remains down on the offensive end for Vancouver along the baseline. Miss on the jumper that time. That's an air ball by Mo Anderson. And now her ankle. Head coach Joe Navarro of Vancouver got the official's attention to point down to J.R. Moore to stop action. Moore is yelling that he got fouled. He is limping off of the floor. 
with 11.14 left to go. Moore has bumped it down. Yeah, he's making his feelings very clear. Right now. Big ice pack in his immediate future. So right now, the bench for Vancouver, just two players. Ball dumped down inside the lane. They'll come all the way back out. Doyle will try a three that will not go. Rebound here. Grabbed by Bellingham. 35-33. Moore got the bucket before he went down with the injury. Ball left-hand side. Chris Ferguson just into the ball game. He'll try a three that will not go. Rebound kicked out of the hands that time of Dalvin. It's slapped out of bounds by Sadeo Doyle. The guard out of San Diego Christian. Inbound will come. Dalvin to Mo Anderson. Right back to Mo. They'll give him a look at a three and they shouldn't have. He'll bury it on the right side. Mo's feeling it. He has 14 already. 36-35. Without Blake Poole out there, got to take a little bit more of the offensive load. Ball whipped to the baseline. Hard drive here and flipped up and in. Count it that time for Kevin West. His first bucket of the ball game. Kevin gets that one to go. 37-36, a one-point lead here for the Vancouver Volcanoes. Ball dumped to the left-hand corner. Ferguson, another three. This one is short. Rebound, kicked wide. Grabbed off here by West for Vancouver. Oh, should have been a wow. travel against Sedale Doyle. Instead, nice feed that time. Hampton will hit the cutter. Mark that. Morris hitting the cutter in Geo Bain. Bain tried to go and pack it once again with a right hand. Could not, got fouled. He will go to the free throw line. Give Kyle Dalvin credit. The foul's on him, but he just made sure to prevent the slam dunk that time. Make uh, big Mr. Bain try and earn these from the line. Bain's first free throw shot up and good. 38-36. Lead is two. Jacob will get a rest here as Freeman will come in. Rare when you see Bellingham having trouble with size and height, but this Vancouver team is massive. Yeah, they got it out even without J.R. Moore. Second free throw shot is missed by Bain, rebounded by Dalvin. Outlet will come to Mo Anderson as he'll bring it up in the front court. Freeman back out there, almost threw it away as he tried to get it back to Mo. He'll recover it before it goes across the half court line. Lob pass down inside to Dalvin, draws a double team. Kyle's got to get rid of it, does to Mo. Double team once again, left hand side around the circle. Open is Chaz Cock for three, won't go. Mo tips it now here to Dalvin. Dalvin will turn, try and put it up with a left hand, cannot against the double team. Grabbed off here by Doyle. Doyle will float it out ahead. Great passing by Vancouver. They find the open man for an easy layup in Brian Morris. 40 to 36. Four point Vancouver lead. Mo spins it back around left. Freeman baseline three. Everything short from long range for the most part here for the slam. Rebound to Vancouver. Doyle with it. Crosses over left. Little give and go as he'll get it right back here into the hands of Calvin Hampton. Hampton will get it blocked. It'll go out of bounds. Basketball will stay with Vancouver. Hampton was calling for the foul. He won't get it. Yeah, quick reaction from Coach Joe Navarro of Vancouver as well. They thought Mo had a lot of arm contact that time, but no call. Andre Murray and Corey Largent check back into the ball game. Murray making the catch along the baseline, steps back, puts up a jumper. Just inside the three-point ring, won't go. Rebound pulled down, long outlet, Dalvin to Freeman. He'll go up, try and lay it up with a right hand. Largent blocked it out of bounds. It'll stay with Bellingham in the offensive end. 9.03 left to go until halftime. Final regular season game here for the Bellingham Slam and Vancouver Volcanoes. A miss along the baseline by Chaz Cock. Murray boots everybody back as he'll drive now. Here coming over and getting the foul is Freeman trying to take a swipe at the ball. 40 to 36. Murray missed the layup, but he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Big J.R. Moore emerges from the locker room for Vancouver. Does not have a shoe on that injured right foot slash knee. We won't see him too soon. Murray's first free throw is good. Andre has 13 points. Only Mo Anderson has more. He has 14 for Bellingham. Maybe we'll still see JR more sooner than we thought. He's putting the shoe back on, jumping up and down, testing that ankle. Both free throw shots are good. Largest lead of the ball game here of six. Now for the Vancouver Volcanoes. 42-36 our score. Mo up in the front court. Rico in here for Chris Ferguson. He'll get the ball. Go to the top of the floor here. Run his man off of the screen. Offensive foul. Going to get whistled here against Kyle Dalvin. 
That would put a hard screen yes. right into Andre Murray. That is a big, hard screen from 6'11 Kyle Dowd at that time, and he got whistled for it. Ball whipped in to Largen, who will bring it up in the offensive end, working sideline right. Nick Moore off of the bench, set to check in. Back and forth between the hands. Lob pass will come down right on the catch. A little up fake. Hard drive here by Hampton. It'll go baseline, flip it up and home. 44-36, largest lead of the ball game. Sits at eight now here for Vancouver. Ball dumped in Freeman from Dalvik. Cross court, Rico open for a three. Got him on the arm, did large at the shot. Nowhere close. Rico will go to the stripe for three shots. Yeah, the Largent will go through the motions of arguing, but Rico doesn't miss by four feet unless he got smacked on the arm, which he clearly did that time. Joe Navarro, the head coach for Vancouver, talking it up with Mo. Mo, Mo letting him know Rico doesn't miss like that unless somebody's getting his arm. <laughs> Rico does miss the first free throw. A second of three rolls and drops. Jacob Stevenson, Nick Moore checking back in. Chaz Cock, Kyle Dalvitt will check out. So Bellingham will go small. A more offensive minded with this group. And that free throw shot is up and good. Rico, two out of three. Lead sits at 6, 44-38 Vancouver, 8-12 left to go until halftime. Ball brought up, Sedale Doyle with the dribble. Stops way beyond the three-point ring left side. Top side to Murray, forces that pass, it whistles over the head of Brian Morris and out of bounds along the baseline. Quickly back by the slam. Rico with the dribble. Works to the top of the floor, works with the left hand, stops, shovels it back out. Jacob crosses over, spins down inside the lane, lost control of it, shovels it underneath for a reverse layup to Mo Anderson. Mo's keeping Bellingham in this ball game. He has 16. We haven't seen Mo finish lefty many times over the years. Well done. 44-40. Murray with a jump pass into Largent. Back out topside, faking the three as Morris over to Murray. He won't fake the three. He'll just rail it home. 17, Andre Murray, game high total. Andre Murray, a deep three from the left wing. Trying to answer back is Mo. His triple is left short. Long bust out all the way down to the other end. Hampton will beat everybody back. No! How about that? Mo got in there, got a piece of it. Hampton kind of gave him the fake like he got a piece of his shoulder, and then they both kind of slapped low fives there and laugh a little bit, but... Mo was hoping for a travel call. Couldn't get it. He tried to sell it. Hampton will have to get him here at the free throw line. Good recovery by Mo. Hampton's free throw shot rattles and kicks out. A rather animated conversation between slam coach Tyler Ramea and the trail official who made that call. Tyler got his point across, but veteran official just nodding his head. Second free throw shot, that one won't go. Long rebound, Karam's out, grabbed off here by Rico. He'll race down, middle of the floor. Oh, the right oh, pass, oh. Largent, flip it up and in on the left side with his right hand. How about that, long outlet, Jacob Stevenson steps in front of the pass, kicks it over to Rico, three on the way, got it! Bing, bang, boom, triple shot. 6.55 left to go, 47-45 our score. Hard dribble here by Murray all the way to the cup. Scoop layup with the right hand is good. And it gets quiet at Watkins Community College again. 49-45. Rico scored the last five. Does he have more in him? A three-point. That one won't go. Left it short. Rebound. Cleared out by Vancouver. Ball to Murray. Murray beyond the circle, lobs it down inside the lane, turning, spinning, and easily jump hooking it up and in that time was Calvin Hampton working against a shorter defender in Jacob Stevenson. Hampton up to 10 points, about as active as any of the Vancouver big guys so far. Rico will flip it to Freeman, cross court, Jacob Stevenson between the wickets. Jacob going to drive, kick to Nick Moore, fake the three, step inside the arc, jumper up, way off, shot it long, tip rebound, grabbed off by Murray, now out in front to Largent. Largent will race down, lob it up, and that one way too tall and out of bounds as it goes over the head that time of Calvin Hampton, and we'll have a media timeout. Five. We'll hope to have you listening along. We'll take to the air Saturday night at 7.05 from Clark College in Vancouver. 
51-45, off of the timeout, 5.55 left to go here as Mo will bring it up. Has Rico, Nick Moore, Jacob Stevenson, and Sam Freeman out there on the floor. Nick with it beyond the circle, stops, they'll kick it left to Freeman, try and back his way down here against Murray. Feeds it over to Stevenson, back out topside to Rico, another three, that one's short. Rebound, soaring forward as Murray. He'll outlet, get it to Largent. Corey lobbed it inside, tipped up in the air by Nick Moore. But Mo couldn't track it down. Back out to Largent. 13 on the shot clock. Largent tries to flip it inside. Mo will save it, and he'll steal it first, save it to Jacob Stevenson, and here we go the other way. Ball lobbed inside. Jacob will take it to the cup. Scoop layup attempt won't go, but he got fouled. Jacob back to the free throw line. 5.13 left to go until halftime. Final regular season game of the year in the IDL. Slam missing a little bit of their mojo in this one, but two and a half quarters still to heat up. First free throw shot is up and short. Looking ahead of the playoffs, Slam have taken care of the Seattle flight, beating them four times this season but they have not played Salem this year. So it'll be curious to see if Salem should emerge, what that matchup would be like. Both misses at the free throw line for Jacob Stevenson. Ball topside now here. Hampton will step inside the arc and put an awkward jumper up that <laughs> splashes home. 53-45, the lead is eight now here for the Vancouver Volcanoes. Working left off of the screen is Mo. He'll leave it topside now here for Jacob. Tries to drive inside the lane. Knocked loose by Andre Murray. He'll race down. Middle of the floor. Get down inside the paint. Leave it here for Kevin West. West with an offensive charge as he lowered his shoulder into Sam Freeman. And after that, for good measure, he backed into Mo Anderson just for good measure. So take your pick. It will be an offensive foul. And the slam have it back. 440 left to go here. Ball dribbled up. Mo will bounce it now here outside of the circle. Put it in the hands here of Chaz Cock. Turning, spinning, splashing home the jumper off of the elbow is Jacob Stevenson on a nice feed from Chaz. 53-47, lead cut down to six. 4.15 left to go until halftime. Ball yielded by Murray. Freeman comes out on him defensively. Crossover on the switch, picked up by Stevenson on the roll. He'll dump it down inside the lane, back out right. West will try a three that's an air ball. Grabbed off by Stevenson. Here comes Bellingham. Long lead pass. Oh. Too far out in front for Nick Moore from Chaz Cock. It'll be a turnover, and the ball will go back to Vancouver. Nick had a step on the defender that time, but never really had a chance to catch up with that one and lay it home. Nick will take a seat, and big 6'11", Kyle Delvitt back out there for the slam. Dalvitt, Freeman, Stevenson, Cock, and Anderson out there on the floor. For the coach Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Kyle is an assistant coach at Burlington High School. Back and forth between the hands here on the dribble from Murray. Dump it down in the left-hand corner to West. Back out large and he'll go baseline. Feed it down inside the lane, putting the oh. shot up off the window. Up and in for Brian Morris, and he got it to go. Heard the shot clock buzzer go off. It's now been reset. 55-47, matching the largest lead of the ball game of eight. Mo, double high post. He'll go left elbow to Dalvit. Coming off of the screen, Jacob Stevenson makes the catch at the free throw line. Jumper up, won't go. Rebound Largent. Bounces it back out Murray. Murray across the timeline. Races down right. Cuts inside the lane. Scoop layup. But a right oh. hand is up and good for Andre Murray. And suddenly it's a 10-point deficit here for Bellingham. 3.05 left to go until the break. Haven't seen the slam down by 10 at home very many times over the years. Working left, they'll call an offensive foul now here. Kyle Dalvitt will pick up his second offensive foul. On setting those big screens, hard not to see you when you're 6 That's 11. It's a big screen on that screen. 57-47 <laughs> our score. Walked up into the offensive end here for Andre Murray. Cross court, catch made, shot up Kevin West. Big giant floating jumper that won't go from 12. Rebounded by Bellingham and a reach by Andre Murray here against Jazz Cock as he comes across the half court line. Murray will get whistled for the foul. Uh, lucky for the slam that there's no meaning in the standings for this game. They have come out a little ragtag in this one. And 
Like we say, down 10 in the first half. That's a shocker for these Slam fans at home. Dalvit to the bench. Nick Moore back out. Big J.R. Moore has his shoe and sock back on. He's walking behind the bench. Looks like if they need him, he could come back. 19 seconds on the shot clock as the ball is inbound and Moore will get it. Dump it right. Chaz Cock goes baseline, goes up. Shot partially blocked from behind. West got a piece of Chaz Cock as well. No foul call. Hard drive here. Largent through the lane. Double pumps. Puts the shot up. Won't go. The tip follow. The first one is missed there by Brian Morris, but Kevin West gets credit for the second follow, and it's up and in. Down to the other end, Freeman open for a three for the left side, and he gets it to go. Good time for one of those. The slam needed a bucket. 59-50, nine-point Vancouver lead. Murray with the dribble. Goes to the top of the floor, cuts back left, hard screen on Freeman as he's sent down to the floor. Jumper up by Murray, will not go that time from nine. Rebound to Chaz Cock. Turns on the Jets as he races down the floor, gets baseline, puts it up. Counted in one for Chaz Cock. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Chaz on the drive, took it as far as he could till a big wall of red clad Vancouver Volcano stopped him. Chad still able to lean the opposite direction, float that one in, get it to go. Cock gets his first hoop of the night. At the free throw line, Chaz Cock. Gio Bain will check in. Calvin Hampton will check out for Vancouver. Free throw shot rattles and goes. Fifty-nine, fifty-three. Lead sits at six as Murray literally dances his way across the timeline. He skipped over midcourt. There you go. Lobs it into Gio Bain. The seven-footer will dump it down inside the lane. An easy bucket, but no time for Brian Morris. A little gimme that time from point-blank range. Down to the other end. Bellingham will get it, and through the paint is Rico. Will try and reverse it up and in. The shot nowhere close, but he gets fouled. A delay of game warning. Somebody swatted the ball away on the left side. I heard 22. There is no 22. But nonetheless, it will go against Vancouver. Rico to the line. Two free throws with a minute 34 left to go. All right, Bellingham. Got to be kicking themselves here at the free throw line. Right. Another miss. Not making it easy on themselves, that's for sure. Second shot, that is good. Rico has 14. 59-54. Minute and a half left to go here until the halftime break. Murray on the offensive end, using a screen way up top here by Bain. But bounce it down inside the paint. Bounces off of West, where it's grabbed off here for a layup attempt by Morris that won't go. Scramble for the rebound. It goes off of West, or mark that, off of Morris out of bounds. Boy, it looked like Nick Moore hit that one last, but the slam get the benefit of the call there. Moe slowly across the timeline. Coach Joe Navarro, none too happy with a lack of call yeah. on the other end. That was his nice loud blow the whistle right in front of us. Moe with 10 on the shot clock. Works off of a screen by Jacob. Now fake the jumper. Get it to Jacob at the free throw line. His jumper up and good. 59-56. Lead sits at just three. Lob pass on a mismatch underneath. Easy money for Kevin West against the shorter defender Enrico. 61-56, Rico back down the other way. 48 seconds on the shot clock, and he'll hit a three. Says you're gonna take me into the post, Kevin West, this for you. Let me see what I can do outside of the arc. Rico leads the slam now with 17. 61-59. Did not see what the whistle was. Wow, we were blind. Yeah, blocked by one of the near side official. Far side official blew the whistle. Now made everybody do the inbound all over again. 40 seconds left to go. Ball up in the offensive end to West. His turnaround. No good. Gio Bain Whoa. gets past Nick Moore and dunks it home with two hands. Lead is four. 63-59. 11 second differential between game and shot clock as Moe will work left. Put it back out to Jacob. Fakes the pass out to... Chaz Cock and instead floats home a swisher that time from the free throw circle. Jacob gets that elbow jumper a lot in the flow of the slam offense and boy he has been the master of it for many years now. 63-61, two point contest. Murray between the wickets down to eight seconds. Seven, 
Going to use a screen by Bain, work left, jump pass, down inside, wow. and a beauty that time as he feeds Brian Morris, who lays it up and in. 2.4 seconds left, ball comes into Chaz Cock, gets to the half court line, good if it goes, well short at the buzzer. And at halftime, the lead sits at four for the Vancouver free throw circle. Throws up the teardrop runner that time with the right hand, and it goes 67-65. Slow dribble across the timeline now here for Doyle. Doyle sees a crease, drives, tried to flip it across the lane, was looking that time for Morris, tipped up in the air, stolen away by Anderson. Mo with it now for Bellingham in the front court. Bounces it down to the left-hand corner. Jacob Stevenson with it. He'll drive, get right past the defender, float one up, left it short, rebound, corralled, loose ball, scramble for it. Going to be grabbed off here by Dalvin. Dalvin will shovel it back out left on the catch to force it from Jacob Stevenson back into Dalvin, stolen away by Murray. Murray will race down, drive all the way to the cup, layup won't go, but the follow right there for Largen as they put it up and in. 69-65, lead is four here for Vancouver. Nice little touch pass, Mo to Jacob to Freeman, wide open, he'll put it in off of the window from eight feet out. Sam Freeman trailing the play right there for the kiss off the window and in. 69-67. Ball forced down inside the paint. They'll get it inside Morris. Just muscles that one up and over the top of Nick Moore. 71-67. Seems as if Vancouver can just continually keep pounding it inside. Ball comes out to Moore. Baseline triple short. Bounces right back out to Murray. Game's leading score will race down, turn, spin, jump hook with a right hand, and he wow. got it to go. Matches his uniform number with 23 points. 73-67. Bo Anderson slowly up into the front court, working against Murray. Brings him left, bounces it now here to Moore. Steps back, jumper up from the free throw circle is up and good. No hesitation on that stroke from Nick. Give him five points for the game. Lee sits at four, 73-69, Vancouver in front. Ball top of the floor to Murray, back and forth between he and the point guard, Doyle. Doyle going to fake a three, now he'll step back, Mo gave him room and he made him pay for it. Doyle rattles that three ball up and hard. Lead is seven, 76-69. Working left, Mo will cut down inside the lane. Ooh. Head fake there as he'll put it up and in with the left hand. 71-67, cross court find Largent open from three point land, swish. He's gonna draw attention to Corey Largent being, getting off to a slow start in this game. He's been another slam killer, but a couple back to back buckets now. Lead is now eight here for Vancouver. Stevenson through the paint, kicks it back over to Moore. Thought he'd take a three, instead bounces it back to Jacob. Baseline jumper, no, won't go. Dalvin the rebound, turns, fans it back out to Mo. Feed it now to Nick. Moore will drive, hang in the air, double pump with the shot up, no good. Jacob the put back, falling away off glass, up and in. Lead is six, 79-73. Outlet pass right. Largen stops, elevates for a triple with Jacob right in his face. Vancouver fans, remark that Vancouver players wanted a foul, none given on the miss. And leaking out to the other end, Sam Freeman gets a long pass off of the rebound, lays it up and in for Bellingham. Lead is four, 79-75. Lob down inside the lane. Loose ball slapped at here. Moore will knock it away from Morris, but gets called for the foul. Only Nick's first foul on the reach. 79-75 our score. Five teams advance to the IBL playoffs. Morris set up at the free throw line, but the ref had to wave him over to the side. They'll just throw it in. End out all the way out beyond the three-point ring. Wide open. Doyle caught it, shot it, and it goes home. A Vancouver Volcano we were not familiar with, but Sedeo Doyle's for real. Give him 11 points. 82-75. Lead sits at seven here for Vancouver. Back and forth between the wickets here. Jacob will step through as he got the defender in the air at that right elbow. Drew the contact. The shot nowhere close, but he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. We mentioned the five teams heading to the playoffs. There were four and five seats, Salem and Seattle. Three and two, Portland and Vancouver, your number one seed, Bellingham. So Salem and Seattle will square off Saturday afternoon, two o'clock. Second game, Vancouver and Portland at five o'clock. 
And then Bellingham will take on the winner of the first game, either Salem or Seattle, in the nightcap at 7.30. So tough duty for the four and five seats. A lob pass forced down inside the lane, stolen by Moore, get it over to Mo. Moe will take it to the cup, and he had it blocked. Blocked out of bounds that time. Swatted out of there by Calvin Hampton, and Hampton salutes the crowd. Did he salute the crowd? <laughs> Mo Anderson decided sure. early he was going out high. Not sure if Calvin <laughs> realizes we're not in Vancouver and they aren't rooting for him. Yes, those aren't cheers. Jacob will get the inbound right back and drive against Hampton. Got him up in the air where he gave up the foul. So far, no salute from Jacob Stevenson. Hampton, a good call for this one. His third foul of the night will send Jacob Stevenson to the line. See if he can hit a pair here. Free throw is a bit of a bugaboo for the slam so far in this one. We mentioned in that first half, and oh. that one is off. Yikes. Just 12 of 21 in the first half. 57%. Second shot upcoming. That is good. Jacob has 15. 82-77 our score. The lead sits at 5 for Vancouver. Ball around the ring on the dribble now here for Dora. Looks for Morris instead, flips it back out. Left-hand side catch and shoot up and good. Count it for Corey Largen. Largen get a three ball, he did. Just a step outside of that circle and he puts it home. Mo, top side to Dalvin, looking for Jacob. They'll get it inside. The back is way down, turn baseline against Largen. Can't get it to go. Tip on the rebound, comes out to Vancouver on the bust out. Doyle will stop, crank up a triple, rolls out. Dalvin gets the rebound here for Bellingham. Outlets, comes to Moore. Nick. Looking for some help, finds it in the form of Mo Anderson. Jump pass as he faked the three, got it inside to Moore, left it short on the gimme down inside the lane. Rebound to Vancouver. Outlet here to Largent. Largent tries to go cross court, tipped up in the area. He's looking for Murray, stolen away by Nick Moore. Kick it in the corner to Freeman, right back to Nick Moore. The layup no good, the follow by Jacob is right in. Doug, the slam just a little bit off tonight, and we've seen it in the last couple sequences. Stevenson ends up scoring there, but by far the, the offense nowhere near as smooth as we have seen it. Lob pass comes down right, little up fake here. Backing his way down with a jump hook here is Hampton. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Nick Moore, who got clubbed in the process. Oh. Lead it now here for Stevenson. Cuts down inside the lane. Bounces off of the defender. Back out to Moore. Fakes the three. Drives to the left elbow. Jumper up. Splash. Nick has seven. Lead is cut to four, 85-81. 5.40 left to go here in the third quarter. With the dribble, cross court, large and catch and shoot from Murray on a nice assist as he's open from three point land and he splashes it home. Veteran is heating up, Largent has 15 all of a sudden. Timeout gonna be taken here by Bellingham. But still down by seven as we get back underway. Mo will work it up here with the dribble off of the timeout. Seven point lead now here for Vancouver. Anderson off of the screen by Jacob. Here comes the double team as Bain steps out. They'll get it into the hands of Jacob Stevenson. Shovels it inside the paint to Nick Moore. Back to Mo. Goes up. Ooh, he got sent down hard by Gio Bain. Ooh, you could hear the wince of the Bellingham crowd. That's a guy that uh, the slam potentially do not need to see get up hobbling or anything like that. Mo looks like he's okay, but on the wrong end of a violent collision with the big seven footer, Gio Bain. Bain will pick up the foul, his second. Big seven footer has had a couple of awe-inspiring dunks here tonight. That is a big time athlete. He's a very mobile seven footer too. Free throw shot up by Mo is good. 21 for Mo Anderson. 5.05 left to go here in the third. Next shot up and good. 88-83, Joe Navarro. Is that the free throw discrepancy yep. he's shouting at? Yep, okay. He's yelling and screaming here at the officials. Yep. This team leading by five. Ball down inside the lane, muscling it up with a right hand and getting it to go with Morris. And now a warning here to Joe Navarro. He gets a warning. One of the officials here. Navarro just continued to chew the same official. Did not pay attention at all to the offensive play that was being run by Vancouver. They got the bucket and lead it by seven, but Navarro will sit down now here, talk to 
his assistant coach. Rico through the lane, didn't have enough on the finish as he tried to reverse it up and in, left to right. Rebound to Vancouver, back down the other way. Largent left to right through the lane, stops, pops one up and good. That's a guy when he heats up, he's trouble and he is officially heating up. Lead is nine, 92-83. Ball comes to Mo, well beyond the circle. Anderson working against Murray, will run him off of a Moore screen, kick it back now to Jacob. Stevenson, with a left-hand dribble, crosses over, feed it back to Moore, up fakes. Morris comes out defensively. Bain will block his shot as he goes through the lane left to right. Grabbed off here by Sadeo Doyle. will take it all the way to the cup. Reverse it up and in with a right hand. Well, well. Suddenly an 11-point lead at 94-83. All Vancouver right now here off of the timeout. 3.50 left to go in the third. Chascock with it. Works against Largent. Cross court. He'll feed it into the hands here of Jacob. Up fakes against Bain. Lots of contact. No foul called. Outlet by Bain. Off of the miss. Comes over to Largent. Largent will stop and pop a three. Got it. Uh oh. Vancouver's feeling it right now. They have silenced the crowd and they have silenced the slam. 97 83. Largest lead in the ball game of 14. Crossover here by Rico. Back out to Moore. Moore will drive. Lead it for Jacob. To the left elbow. Puts the shot up against Bain. Won't go. But on the faith, Bain came down upon him. Two shots upcoming here for Jacob Stevenson. Jacob Stevenson, we haven't had a chance to say tonight the leading scorer in the history of the International Basketball League. 17 on the night. We'll see if he can get a couple more from the line right here. First shot up and good. Second half action brought to you by Westside Pizza, located just across the street on the corner of Kellogg and Cordata. Mention tonight's opponent, the Vancouver Volcanoes, after the game and receive any large pizza for just $10. Westside Pizza, where it's all about the pizza. Free throw shots are good. Lead sits at 12, 97-85. Murray up into the offensive end. Double teamed here as Stevenson and Chaz Cog go chasing after the basketball. They'll give it up. Now he looks to try and kick it back on the right-hand side. Ball got tipped loose off of Largent. Down to eight seconds on the shot clock. It comes over to the left-hand corner. Wide open, triple, no. That one no good. Rico somehow comes out of the pack with it off of the miss by Brian Morris. Down to the other end. Rico will step back, crank a triple, no good. Chases after his own miss, no, can't get it. Here comes Sadale Doyle with it. Racing up for Vancouver, slicing in through the lane. Blocked right out of the air that time by Jacob Stevenson. He'll race down, bounce it to Rico. Caught up in the air. The ball got knocked loose. Murray will come away with it. Down to Largent. Corey Largent will drive against Moe. Take him to the cup. Too strong with a layup. Rebound pulled down by Chaz Cock. He'll race across the timeline. Chaz all the way to the cup. Puts it up with a left hand right against Payne. Off of the window, up and in. Drove right at the seven-footer and finished it off lefty. Nice move, Chaz Cock. 97-87 our score. The lead is 10 for Vancouver. They led by two at the end of one, four at halftime. Largest lead has been 14. Lob pass comes down mid-block left into the hands of Morris. He'll back his way down, draw a double team, feed it to Bain. Bain will cut down inside the lane, and a foul will be called. Wow, that looked a lot like Bain landed on Dalvit, but it looks like they're going to call Kyle for it anyway. Dalvit will pick up. Uh, it's listed as his second. That should be his third. He has yes, two be. offensive fouls, but the board has it as two. We have it as two. Two it is. Inbound will come. Sideline right for Andre Murray. Into Largent right back to Murray as he'll set up shot. Ten point lead. They'll reset the shot clock. Put 11 seconds on it here. A minute 54 left in the third. Top two seeds for next week's IBL Championship Tournament. The number one seeded Bellingham Slam and the number two seed, the Vancouver Volcanoes. Andre Murray waiting for this to all get doped out. Takes a seat in the courtside he seat. Sat down in a chair. Had a little handshake with one of the fans. Largest between the wickets off of the inbound. Will drive. Lost control of it. We got. Knocked out of bounds. Murray tried to save it, could not in the corner. Turnover, give the ball back to Bellingham. Quickly down to the other end. Jacob Stevenson will get it. Go through the lane. Stop at the left elbow jumper up. Got it. Minute and a half left to go. 
Eight point ball game, 97-89. Larger, sideline right. Looks to Murray, can't get it there. Guess who's back into the ball game? J.R. Moore <laughs> went down with a foot injury yes. in the first half. Sets a hard screen as he gets rid of it to Murray. And now a foul on Murray's drive to the bucket. The shot won't go, but Murray will step to the free throw line. Well, that was Chaz Cock on the wrong end of that screen by J.R. Moore. And Chaz is checking to make sure everything is attached. And then he's asking the official if there's anything illegal about that screen. Chaz probably feels like he got hit by a truck. A minute 16 left to go here in the third. Foul a moment ago against Stevenson, his first, team's fourth. Free throw shot missed by Murray. Freeman will check in. Stevenson will go to the bench. Murray, free throw shot short. Rebound to Dalvin. Loose ball got knocked out of his hands by Kevin West, but Moe will come up with it. He'll race down up on the front court. Leave it here for Freeman. Open from three. Point land and he got it. Good. Big turnaround there. 97-92. Lead cut down to five. They've been as big as 14 in this quarter. Ball whipped down inside the paint. Nice find by Andre Murray to Kevin West, who got past Moe, laid it up and in. That was the fastball from Andre Murray to get through that traffic. 99-92. Almost took Kevin West's hands off there. Bounced off. <laughs> was able to corral it after it hit the floor and laid it up and in. Mo open left side for a three off of the pass from Rico, can't get it done. Rebound, outlet, Payne wasn't looking. Murray threw it right in the hands of Chaz Cock. Chaz will race up, take it all the way to the cup, he'll get fouled by J.R. Moore. Moore made no effort to move, nope, or go after the ball, just reached Swap. out and grabbed a piece of Chaz Cock. Stops the clock with 34 seconds left to go in the third. Chaz Cock to the free throw line. Chaz started on the left side of the floor that time, angled over to the right, wasn't able to get it to go, but luckily said he got smacked good and hard, so we'll see what he can do from the line. 99-93 as he hits the first free throw. Some basketball royalty in the house. Hall of Fame member at Western Washington University, former longtime assistant coach at Western Washington University, Rob Visser, taking in the game. Jared Stevenson, former member of the Bellingham Slam, also former Western Washington University Viking, at one point the all-time leading scorer for the Vikings. Right, and a Hall of Famer himself. Jumper up, that's right. Most recently, both he and Jacob went in. Yep. Jumper up by Kevin West on a three ball, will not work. 99-94, after the made free throws on the other end by Bellingham, they have a chance to cut further into this lead. They trail by five. What a good look here, boys. Six seconds, five. Chaz Cock to the free throw circle. Jumper up and good. 1.4 seconds left. Inbound comes stolen by Mo. Good if it goes. Oh, it hit off of the top of the backboard and came down short. We got a game. But we do indeed have a game. At Ball will be... Vancouver's as we start the fourth quarter. The point guard, Sadeo Doyle, will bring it up. Got Bain, Hampton, West, and Murray out there. The first pass to West, they're stolen away. Rico will get it, take it all the way down to the other end. We got a tie ball game as Rico hits the three. Big smile on his face as he comes right. back down the other way, nodding his head. Rico, a 24 night for himself. 99 all. Sideline right, West works off of the screen. Cuts down inside the paint, scoop layup will not go. Scramble for the rebound, gonna be won here by Chaz Cock. The Chaz yeah. get fouled if he step out of bounds. Looks no, like Hampton, will be yeah. Out. Hampton will get called for an elbow against Chaz, huh? 11.27 left to go here in the fourth quarter, just underway in the fourth, and we're all tied at 99 apiece. Rico, sideline right, back and forth between the hands, working against West, open for another three. West got a piece, mark that, Doyle got a piece of it on the three ball attempt, and it comes up well short. Back down to the other end. Working the dribble back and forth between the hands now, here is Murray, as he'll circle all the way over to the left, direct traffic here, working against Mo. Well, gives him a little bit of room, seven on the shot clock. He'll dance his way left, step back for a triple, in and out, no good thing. The tip follow right up and in. 101-99, a two-point Vancouver lead. Bellingham has not led at all here in the second half. Between the wickets here, Chaz Cock will drive, step back just inside the elbow, put the jumper up, 
And that time he fell down, backing up over the top of him. Hampton, they both collide. Now they're all entangled. They finally get untangled as Rico will take it through the paint, try to scoop layup with the right hand, will not go. Here comes Murray the other way off of the Bain rebound. He'll take it to the cup, got fouled that time by Freeman. The shot no good on the scoop layup that time, but to the stripe will go Andre Murray. Chance to add this two-point lead for Vancouver. Sam Freeman, the reach foul on that one, his second of the night. Shot up and good. Substitution. Brian Morris will check in. Hampton will check out. Also back in, Corey Largent. He'll replace Kevin West. Very second free throw up and good. The lead is four, 103-99. Rico, Mo, Jazz Cox, Sam Freeman, and Kyle Dowlett out there on the floor. Working left. Chaz goes between the wickets with the dribble. He'll turn on the Jets here as he'll cut down inside the paint. Double pump, put it up a little too strong. Down with the rebound, stick back up and in. 103-101. Lead sits at two. Lob pass comes down left. Bouncing his way back in. There's Morris. He'll kick it back out for a three ball attempt by Larger. but won't go. Tip followed by Bain. That one's off the mark. Freeman gets the ball and Bain will go over the top. Oh, they're going to call a jump ball on that. Oh, my. Freeman almost took the seven-foot Bane for a ride at that time. Wow. Wow, how in the world that wasn't a foul is beyond me as Bane was the backpack yeah. of Sam Freeman on that play. The very definition of over the back, but no call. <laughs> Seven-footer in Bane. Freeman listed at 6'3". See if Sam just backpedals to get in position to try and steal the tip. A little pushing and shoving that gets settled here by the officials. 9.47 left to go in this one and a two-point contest. Oh, by the way, at 101 points, free chalupas for everyone. Best radio contest ever. There are no free chalupas. Worst radio contest ever. Ball got slapped into the back court where it was corralled by the Vancouver Volcanoes, they call it over and back violation. I am as confused as the Vancouver Volcanoes are, but nonetheless, <laughs> it will be Bellingham basketball. That shouldn't be the case. Chazcock beyond the circle, flips it back out to Mo. Mo cross court, back to Chaz. Drives, a pump fakes, no shot available. They'll kick it around the corner, open man. He's Rico for a three, and Bellingham has their first lead of the second half. 104, 103, a three ball in the left corner for Rico. Andre Murray through the lane, lost it. Boy, he lost it going up. There was huh. contact, but after Andre Murray had lost the basketball on his up and under move, he will get bailed out by the wrestle. Yes. I don't know that we've ever seen a more blatant bailout than the one that Andre Murray just got. Freeman, three on Sam, will pick up his third. Free throw shot by Murray is short. The quote, Rasheed Wallace, ball don't lie, don't lie. 9.17 to go. Murray to try and tie it up. That shot is good. 104 apiece. Great ball game here tonight in the regular season finale. Bellingham and Vancouver all knotted up. Jazz Cock, top of the floor. Works left. Picks up the dribble, flares it back out to Mo. Mo with the right hand on the dribble. Rico running along that baseline. Now Mo will drive, stop, fall away, jumper. That one's offline from the right for about 13. No good. Rebound cleared out here by Vancouver. Doyle across the timeline. Bounces it to Murray. Murray slapping away the hand of Sam Freeman. He'll work to the elbow. Jumper up, won't go. Rebound tipped up. Bain got a hand on him. And Bain will put it up and in. 106-104. Step back jumper here for Rico, and Doyle knocks him down. Well, they call it on a three ball attempt or on a two. It looked like he was just inside the arc. Looked like a three from here. 
Really? I thought he was inside the arc. Yeah. That one. Yep. Two shots. Two shots. First signal was three. They changed it to two. So Rico will shoot a pair. Shot up and good. Rico, 24 points. Leads the team now. Rico led the way as he with 27 points. He and Sam Freeman combined for 59 points in that victory against the Seattle Flight Friday night down at Skagit Valley College. Second shot is up and good, and we're knotted up again at 106. Now a whistle away from the ball. Oh, going to be a technical foul here against Joe Navarro. Joe Navarro has been working on that yeah. one for a while. Coach has not been in a very good humor here in the second half, and they finally got him right there. He's unhappy about the discrepancy between free throw shots. He's saying 40, 40 so far here for Bellingham. I think it was 40 to 10 was the number that was thrown out. Mo at the stripe. Free throw shot, rattles and drops. 107-106 for a Largent talking to the official. It's a favorite pastime of his over the years. Yep. Twenty-one seconds on the shot clock. Ball will be inbound right in front of the scorer's table. It comes into Andre Murray. Murray, what do you bet he's going to shoot? Yep, takes it all the way to the cut. Scoop layup with the right hand. It does not go. Back down the other way. Oh, oh, him out. Oh, he's got to go. Throw him out. He's got to go. Largent's got to go. And they're going to have a fight. Now Tyler Amir is in this, and Largent should go. Largent should be tossed. That's up, right guys. now, this is getting ugly, and that was a, a that very was that point. was a very cheap move by Corey Largent, and he should be tossed from this game, and that that could have been very dangerous. Corey Largent now, and Nick Moore getting into it. Tyler Amaya was up off of the bench, and th this was. Somebody took a That's swing a at the coach. And now it's getting ugly. Now the, the natives are starting to uh, turn here, the slam fans. Now you, got a, now you got one of the slam fans who are getting into it with one of the players here for Vancouver. Getting a little bit ugly here. Vancouver players are walking off the floor. They're walking off the floor here, at least a couple of them right now. As this one has gotten very ugly, and it was all started by Corey Largent yeah. throwing through, through a forearm. Threw a forearm and a shoulder into Rico Wilkins and sent him just careening out of bounds. And the, uh, a fan for the slam is keeping it going right now, right behind the Vancouver bench, and they need him to be quiet. It would be a big favor if he'd shut his mouth. And that is sad to see. We like we like fans that are into it. We like fans that are excited about it. But and and. From our vantage point, it certainly looked like Corey Largent made a very Bush League move. He did in knocking Rico Wilkins out of bounds on the play. Coach Tyler Ramea hurried down there to defend his guy. I didn't see if it was Largent or not, but somebody shoved Tyler out of the way. And that's where the powder keg got going. Largent is still out there. So Largent remains out on the floor. We have not seen a definition. The three officials are talking yeah. about it. They're converging right now to see if anybody's going to have to go. And this one was working for a while. Largent continued to jaw at one of the officials after the technical was called against Joe Navarro. Joe Navarro earned a technical complaining about free throws. And if you look at the numbers, there is a big discrepancy. And unofficially, I have it at 40 to 10 the coach, right now. The coach actually went over and got a stat sheet so he knew what the numbers were that uh, he was hollering about and and after he got the technical he went back and sat down at his bench and then Corey Largent continued to talk rather animated with one of the officials on the play the very the next play started Andre Murray took a drive to the bucket and you could tell Murray was going to shoot he was unhappy he was going to shoot right from the get-go took a scoop layup attempt that didn't go Bellingham gets the rebound on the outlaw or on the outlet. It goes into the hands of Rico, and Rico 
had a fast break opportunity down the right hand side. Corey Largent just wiped him out. That was, that was under no pretense of just trying to foul to prevent a fast break or anything like that. That was a hard forearm shiver. Rico at only 5'11 took it. It looked from here like it was in the head. Maybe if we talk to Rico later, it wasn't that way. But the way he went careening, that's what it looked like. We mentioned it happened on the slam end of the floor. So Coach Tyler Amaya went over there to make sure his guy was okay. That sent a couple members of the Vancouver Volcanoes down there thinking that Coach Amaya wanted to be in the middle of a fight. It looked like he just wanted to make sure his guy was okay. And then suddenly there's a lot of posing, a lot of trash talking on the far end. It's essentially at the end of the slam bench. And we'll make reference again to a Bellingham Slam fan who is off to our left behind the Vancouver bench. He was then keeping it going, getting in the Vancouver guys' faces. So we'll see what the call is. Right now, one of, our, one of the members of our officiating crew is explaining to both Joe Navarro as well as Tyler Amea the breakdown of technical fouls here. There is uh, two technical fouls we have heard being assessed right now to the Volcanoes five being assessed to Bellingham based on who left the bench. Now the fact that this all occurred in the area of Two Bellingham steps bench, their bench seems a little bit as if you're not taking in the geography of all of this, but we're going to wait and see how it all uh, meshes out here and whether or not we'll how they'll do this. I imagine they just shoot the pure number of, of technicals. We've never seen this many no. technicals or this type of situation get out of hand here. They're sure not on the IDL. Yeah. Joe Navarro is going to call his team over and discuss it, as will Tyler Amea at the bench. And I'm going to go try and find some real numbers on this one here. I'll be right back. And I'll tell you what, the playoffs next weekend just got a whole lot more interesting. Not the way you want them to. But suddenly uh, what looked like some uh, bad blood from a distance is now bad blood at the surface. And again, the playoffs next week, we anticipate a Bellingham-Vancouver game the second night for the title. Again, that's just talk right now. They would both have to win. But if it does, don't know if that building down there in Vancouver, we've been there before. It can have a bit of a powder keg feel to it. So things just got a little bit more interesting as Andre Murray missed the first technical free throw. The second one is up and good. Murray has 27 points. Here's another one from Murray. Third one is no good. So missed one, made one, missed one. So it was the five and two. No ejections in this ball game. Largent will stay in play right now. Chaz Cock. Uh, Jacob Stevenson and Corey Largent laughing. Yeah, I was going to say, the good news is a lot of you guys are laughing about it now. Handshakes here between uh, Gio Bain and Nick Moore. Scary when it happened, but laughs and a couple of slaps on the behind here right now as the players gather at midcourt. First shot by Moore was no good. Yep. Oh, Moe misses another one here, so we remain tied here now at 107. And uh, the best way to try and figure it out was when I went and asked uh, the general manager of the uh, Bellingham Slam, Kip Wayne Eddie, what happened. He says, I'm not quite sure it evens out except for a few free throws. No ejection. Uh, there we go. Okay. So everybody stays in the ball game. I am very surprised at that. I, I think Corey Largent uh, did not be here. He got a technical. Uh, I am surprised he was not ejected from this ball game. Working left on the dribble will retreat out is Mo Anderson with it. He'll step into a triple. Got it. Mo oh, oh, hits a triple and suddenly a game that has no bearing on the standings got a whole lot more interesting with eight minutes left to go in a 110-107 ball game. Andre Murray loses control of the basketball. Largent will get it. He'll work left. Stop inside the free throw circle. Jumper up no good. Loose inside the paint on the air ball. It'll roll out of bounds. Bellingham will get it. Believe you me, they're letting Corey Largent hear about it. Jacob Stevenson through the lane. He'll retreat back out left. Behind the back with the pass. Nick Moore. Back out Chaz Cott. Chaz will drive. Drop step there as he'll put it up off of the backboard. No good. Rebound grabbed off by Vancouver. Murray lob out for Bain. Won't go on a foul called here against Bellingham. I said while you were away, Doug, that a potential uh, Sunday night championship game next weekend just got a whole lot more interesting in light, in light of what we just saw. Absolutely the case. 110-107 our score. Shot clock. 18 seconds here. 
inbound following the foul. Whistled against Bellingham, against Mo Anderson, his second. Will come in to the point guard, Sedale Doyle. Ten seconds on the shot clock as they'll get it back over right. Morris up fakes, takes it all the way to the rack. Oh, finger roll layup, circles out. Three on two the other way. Rico with it, tries to whip it over in the corner. Ball goes up into the air and out of bounds. Off of Andre Murray, right over by the Bellingham bench. I don't think the coach, Tyler Amea, is into it. Coach flew over there to protect his guy, <laughs> yes, Rico Wilkes. He, he looked like right a, in the middle of that scrum. Like an Olympic sprinter. Ball dumped into Chaz Cock. His jump hook with a right hand is up and good. Lead is five. Largest of the ball game for Bellingham. 112-107. Inside to Morris. So back his way down here against Jacob. Turn baseline. Nothing doing. Back out Doyle. Doyle to the elbow. Bounces it to Morris. 12 on the shot clock. Across the lane. Get it to Hampton. He'll stop. Pop. Got it to go from nine feet out to the right side. Three-point ball game. 112-109. Sideline left. Mo with the dribble, back and forth between the hands. He'll work to the top of the floor. Use a hard screen set by Jacob Stevenson. Murray on the overplay, tries to steal it, does from Chaz Cock, but gives up the foul in the process. Andre Murray was off to the races, but he had to make some pretty solid contact with Chaz Cock there to get that steal. 112-109 the score. Mo to inbound. Gets it over to Nick Moore. Moore retreats beyond the circle, back over to Moe, nine on the shot clock, double teamed, out to Jacob, fakes the long jumper, kicks it in the corner, Chaz cock open, triple, bam! Chaz hits it, couple of big buckets for Chaz here in this second half, 115-109, six point advantage for Bellingham. Murray, beyond the circle, lobs it inside, turning, spinning, losing control of it as he went up that time, was Hampton, and it'll go out of bounds, we'll have a media timeout. 5.58 left to go here. I'm doing this without their leader in the paint in Blake Poole. He is missed on the inbound. Nick Moore will knock it away and will go out of bounds. 13 on the shot clock. Inbound will come. Get it to Hampton. Leave it now here for the point guard, Sedale Doyle. He'll work Rico into a screen. Hedging on it there, coming out is Stevenson. They'll dump it down inside the paint. Hampton's jump hook is up and good. Hampton barking wow. as he slaps his hands and yelling at the rope. Gets back down on defense. Mo with it. He'll work left off of the screen by Nick. He'll dump it inside to Moore. He'll up fake, get his man in the air, and get right past Hampton, put it up and in. Nick has four of those mid-range jumpers now in the second half. 117-111. Andre Murray with it. Vancouver trailing by six. Jump pass, left-hand side, large and up fakes. Got Moe in the air, steps past him, puts a jumper up on line, but short. Rebound, corralled here by Bellingham. Anderson with it, up in the offensive end. He'll work left, crossover against Andre Murray. Stop, pop, no good. Rebound pulled down, but a foul here gonna go against Bellingham. Nick over the back. Nick Moore will get whistled for it as Morris pulled the board. 5.02 left to go. Bellingham with a six-point lead. Just up into the offensive end. Murray will work right. Stevenson comes out at him defensively. They'll kick it over left and a three ball up and down. Oh. Count it for Morris. Kind of the trailer on the play. And they gave him lots of room. They won't do that again. 117-114 our score. Vancouver team is 11-4 on the year. Hard push by Rico. He's going to get fouled. But oh my, it's all right on. first. Wow. Rico gets whistled for the travel here before Sedale Doyle just pounces on top of him. More information on the TPUG Golf Challenge at TPUG1170.com. 117-114 our score. Ball brought up across the half court line here by Doyle. I'll leave it on a bounce here for Murray. Murray cuts down towards the free throw circle and a reach here and a whistle against the Bellingham Slam. Looks like Jacob Stevenson will get called for the reach. Three different guys reaching at the exact same moment to try and get the ball for Murray. And I think Stevenson will be the guilty party here. Murray to the stripe. 426 left to go here in the ball game. Jacob with a big smile on his face as he comes over to talk to 
one of the officials. Very free throw shot up and good. Murray up to 28. Second shot on the way, and that is good. Got them both. One point contest. 117 116, our score. Mo slowly across the timeline. He'll work left. Looking for Rico, curling off of a screen. He'll ram right into Hampton. Lost control of it as he took it to the cup. Tried to lay up with a right hand. Rico went down hard, and a foul will be called here. Rico has hit the deck out three times in the last 10 minutes or so. He's getting up smiling, but Rico, not a very big guy. Eventually, that's going to have a cumulative effect. Rico has that big arm sleeve with the padding on the elbow on his left arm. Foul whistled a moment ago against Morris. Here's third. Both teams in the bonus. The free throw shot circles out for Rico. Sam Freeman will check in. Chas Cock to the bench. Largely, it's been a seven-man rotation here for the slam tonight. And the player coach, Tyler Amaya, not playing tonight. He will be eligible for the playoffs. Blake Poole and Austin Bragg both resting this weekend for the playoffs. Ball forced down on a pass after the missed free throws by Rico. Doyle was looking to dump it down inside the lane. It gets kicked out of bounds. 16 on the shot clock. Vancouver will inbound. Murray steps into a triple over the top of Freeman. Left it short off the front iron. Rebound comes to Rico. Wilkins will slow it down. Slowly across the timeline. Goes between the wickets. Works right. Sees a crease all the way to the cup. He'll leave it across the lane for Moore. Couldn't hold on to it. And it goes out of bounds. It was too low for 6'7". Nick Moore at that time. You hit him in the chest. He's able to take one step and finish. But Nick couldn't take in the low pass. 3.40 left to go here. One point lead for Bellingham. Doyle in the offensive end. He'll bounce it into Hampton. Hampton going to work against Moore. Back and down. Bumps his way through the paint. Turns jump hook off of glass up and in with a right hand. And he flexes his muscles as he runs back <laughs> down the other way. 18 for big Calvin up Hampton. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. 118 plus 17. Uh, in a sweet layup. Uh, ball comes over left. Little pump fake here by Freeman as he goes baseline. Whips it back out top of the floor. Open man is Rico for a three. That one won't go. Rebound caroms out. Grabbed off here by Doyle. Doyle, middle of the floor, looking for a trailer. Got caught up in the air. Ball got knocked loose. Fans want to travel. They won't get it. Murray now with it. Runs him off of a screen and by Hampton. Murray to the cup. Scoop lamp won't go too high off the glass. Rebound pulled down here by Bellingham. Hard push by Jacob all the way to the cup. Tries to lay up no good. The tip follow that time by Rico no good. Tried to go up. Lost control of it. And it goes out of bounds. Slam gained that lead, but they haven't been playing very smart since then. They've lost it, and there's still two and a half to go, so they're going to have to finish strong. 118-117. Oh, Anderson leading the way for Bellingham with 26 points. Andre Murray leading the way for Vancouver with 29. Sedale Doyle will bring it up into the offensive end. He'll lead it topside here for Murray. Murray behind the back with the dribble, picks up the dribble, kicks it back over to Doyle, pump fake, open man left hand side is Morris, thought about the three and said to Hampton, Hampton's jump hook with a right hand up and good. 120, Hampton is up to 20 in this game. A three point ball game here, 120 to 117, ball comes right elbow on the catch, Moore will kick it. Right wing from Freeman into the hands now here of Stevenson. Jacob fans it back out. Freeman was open for a three for a moment. Instead, he'll drive inside the lane. Back out Jacob. He draws contact. Oh, my. He drew the contact on the pump fake. Got hit as he tried the three. No foul called right in front of the official. Little Argent gets the loose ball and lays it up and in, and suddenly it's a five-point ball game. 122-117, through the lane. Jacob will leave it now here for Nick Moore. Cuts down inside the paint, puts the shot up, got bumped and fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Boy, that time to uh, swallow the whistle right there with what was a rather blatant foul. Jacob Stevenson still making his case, but next time down, we have Nick Moore at the line here. See if Nick can hold the slam to within a single possession. Moore at the stripe, Jacob Stevenson, and the official still talking about it. Free throw shot up and good. Nick is up to 10 points in the game. 
Four-point ball game, 122-118. Minute 29 left to go. Final regular season game in the IBL. Second shot, that's good. Three-point contest. Ball on the inbound will come to Doyle. Doyle across the timeline. Flips it out to Murray. Back over to Doyle. Wide open for a triple. No, won't go. Chase after the rebound. One by Mo. Anderson across the timeline. Minute 15 left to go. Bellingham trailing by three. Moore the triple to tie it. Yeah! yeah. And we're all tied at 122. A minute six left to go. Murray across the timeline. Between the wickets, a crossover left. Stevenson comes over, double teamed it. Somehow he wow. puts it up and in. Falling out of bounds. Murray got it to go off the glass. Stevenson hard push, 53 seconds left. Double teamed, he'll bounce it to Moore. Moore cuts down the middle of the lane. Scoop layup won't go, but he's fouled. And Moore will have another chance to tie up this ball game, this time at the strike. We do not get the luxury of a lot of IB. Moore with two shots here at the stripe. Come on, Nick. First shot up and good. One twenty-four, one twenty-three. Dalvit set to check in here for Bellingham. Second shot, that's good. Substitution. Dalvit in. Not sure why Dalvik couldn't go in, but he could not. The, the coaches for Vancouver said they were wrong, but Dalvik still didn't get it out in the game. Nope, he did not. All tied at 124, 38 seconds left. Murray with it here, working against Jazz Cock. Murray crosses over left, 10 on the shot clock. He'll stop outside the three-point ring, still with the dribble. On the switch, picked up by Jacob. Open man left, they'll dump it in the corner. Doyle with it, he'll take the three, well short. Loose ball inside the lane, shot clock violation. Shot clock violation, there's the signal. Shot clock violation, 21.8 seconds left. Final shot time here for Bellingham, all tied at 124. Slam and a tie game can work it all the way down if they want to. Coach Amaya wants to talk about it. Timeout, they're going to drop a plan for this one. 124, 124. The last seven points scored by Nick Moore here for the Bellingham Slam. The number one and number two seeds. Slam have to go about three quarters of the length of the court. Nick Moore will inbound right in front of the Vancouver bench. And he'll do it with Hampton right in front of him. Hampton at 6'10 out of Oregon State. And he is huge. But bounce it into Jacob Stevenson. And he'll bring it across the timeline with 16 seconds left to go here in the ball game. Now leave it for Moe, working against Andre Murray. 12 seconds, 11, get it to Nick Moore. Nine seconds on the curl. They look for Freeman instead, get it to Moe. Caught in a double team, out to Chascock for a three, and the lead, no, won't go. Tip followed by Moe. It didn't go, the ball grabbed off by Vancouver. Did they get the timeout? Looks more and more will be matched up against Bain, who's right down by the bucket mark. Yep. And we'll see if they indeed try and lob it to him. Ball will come in. Morris catch and shoot way off. Up here to start this five-minute overtime period. Again, I think it was, I think Navarro, Coach Navarro was thinking it was on Hampton when it was on Largent, but nonetheless. Both teams in the bonus, the free throw shots are good, and Hampton was beside himself yes. with the coach. I don't have five, put me back in. <laughs> He's back in, Largent on the pine. He'll work. Murray gets the inbound. He'll work to the top of the floor with a left-hand dribble. Jump pass to Bain, right back to Murray. Open from three, no good, but he got fouled. Freeman got a piece of it. Yep. That was on purpose. That was to prevent the three-pointer and try to make him earn them from the line. So we'll see if Murray can do that. Good hard foul, Sam Freeman. Murray to the stripe. Just about 30 seconds into this overtime session. We were all tied at 124 apiece at the end of regulation. Shot up and good. Look <laughs> half. Both free throws are good. He'll take a look at a third this to give Vancouver the lead. And it's good. He got all three. 127-126. Mow the basketball. 
Brings it across the timeline as he'll work right. Top side now here to Nick Moore. Leave it for Freeman. Freeman curls oh. underneath Hampton, lays it up and in with a right hand. Ball got knocked loose. They'll stop the clock now. It's inbounded. These are some tired teams out there. Doyle will slowly bring it across the timeline. Picked up by Moe as he works left. Fake the bounce pass inside to Morris. Back out top side to Murray. Murray going to work past Freeman. Jump stop in the lane. Circle it up with a layup with a left hand that will not go. Scramble for the rebound. Going to be won by Hampton. He'll back his way down. Jump hook with a right hand. Too strong. Rebound tipped by Bain. Hampton got it. Went up. Lost it going up. Grabbed off here by Stevenson. Now a reach foul here by Andre Murray. Yep. Not sure why Murray is complaining about this. This is as obvious as it could yes. possibly be. That's what a reach foul looks like on uh, instructional tapes for referees right there. Jacob Stevenson will go to the free throw line. A one point lead here for Bellingham. Murray still pleading his case down on the other end. Maybe it'll turn around, but that would be a first at any level. But you're saying it might happen. It might happen. You never know. Free throw shot up and good. I'm not sure what Hampton is upset about, but he continues to look over towards the bench and the officials with his arms outstretched. Second shot is up and good. I think when he lost possession last time, he was trying to argue that he got bumped on the way up. Left it by Three-point lead for Bellingham, 130 to 127. Bounce pass inside Morris. We'll back his way down here against Stevenson. Feed it into Hampton. Hampton will put the shot up, won't go, but he got fouled. Hampton will step to the free throw line. We are familiar with the Geo Baines and Andre Murray's of the world for the Vancouver Volcanoes. Hampton and Morris are new players for us to see this year, and they have played well. They are very physical. They made a couple good choices. And intimidating inside the paint. Another familiar face, and Corey Largent will come off of the bench with the five personals. He'll go check in. Bain will go to the bench. Second shot, that is good. 130 to 129. A one point lead for Bellingham with three and a half left to go here in overtime. Cross court, Rico Wilkins gets the catch. Now get it back to Moore. Moore behind the back with a shovel pass over to Rico. His lob intended for Moore. Too short. Stolen away. Murray will get it. Rico is going to get the blocking foul as he tries to stop him at the half court line. Rico tried to convince anyone who would listen that was a charge, but that one was pretty obvious to see. Murray back to the free throw line. A chance here to retake the lead for the Vancouver Volcanoes. Murray's first free throw shot, swished it right home. Andre Murray, a 35 point night going for himself. Second shot for Murray, all knotted up here at 1.30 apiece. That one is no good, and finally they call the foul that has been going on in that off, uh, on the free throw line for much of this ball game, and Morris just, just push down on Nick Moore. Kind of, if you will, to kind of get a push off. He did it for good measure yeah. after the first shot, too, yeah. as if he was warming up. Yep. And he got whistled for it. So Moore will go down to the other end. He'll take a look at some free throw shots. Freeman trying to check in. Cannot yet. He will replace Chas Cock. Now Freeman is allowed in. Geo Bain will return to the action here for Vancouver. Much taller lineup for this Volcanoes team. And Bellingham is out on the floor at any given time here tonight. Morris free throw shot up and good. Nick, slow start tonight, but he's up to 17 now. 131-130. Second shot, that is good as well. Nick Moore, big in the fourth quarter, big here in overtime. Doyle will walk it up. Rico picks him up. He works over the top side of the screen now. Leave it for Murray. Lob pass down inside the lane to Hampton. Hampton will turn. Will they count the bucket? They will. Count it and one for Hampton. 
as it looked like Jacob got him with the foul. Jacob Jacob had had the yeah. Jacob had him hooked. I didn't see the timing. It's hard to argue the foul, but maybe you can argue where it happened. Jacob wants an explanation. I don't think he's going to like what he hears. <laughs> but Hampton now with an opportunity on the three-point play to get the lead to Vancouver, and he does. 133-132. Quietly, one of the best games we've ever called. Yeah. Bellingham slam history. Great back and forth with nothing on the line yep. for the most part other than raw well, pride between these two teams. The last two IBL champions. Rico with a three from the right side that will not go. Rebound Murray. He'll bust out. Race across the timeline. Has Bain out in front. Ball going to be grabbed oh. here by Rico. Murray looks like he traveled now. Murray will tie up, get tied up by Rico. No, they'll give Murray a timeout. Generous. Wow. Generous. Wow. Murray got tied up. 133-132 our score. Two thirty-six left to go here. Long conversation, Joe Navarro, the head coach for Vancouver. Coach he liked it and didn't like it, and now likes it again. At the end of that explanation was, yeah, that took a few turns. Corey Largen who took a seat in the courtside seats, now up to inbound the ball. Cody stole it by Mo, all the way to the cup, and he'll flip it just over the rim, up and in. Yeah. 134-133, Doyle gave up on chasing him down defensively. Doyle now back up in the offensive end with the dribble. He'll work right, force it down inside to Bain. Bain will go up, try and dunk it, but a foul against Moore Boy, on thought, the entry pass. I thought Bain's left foot went out of bounds as he was jockeying for position, but they'll say no. Nick Moore will get caught for the reach, and seven-foot Gio Bain with a nine-point game for himself will set up at the line. Two shots for Bain. And a one-point lead right now for Bellingham. First free throw shot, ooh, up and good. It is an odd-looking release from Gio Bates. He was he shocked kinda, by that perfect yeah, switch. He pulls it back down yeah. to the side and kind of flips it up there, but picture perfect, the result. Same thing with the second shot. 135-134, 2.19 left to go, an eternity in the IBL. Across the timeline here at overtime. Jacob Stevenson with the dribble. A crossover against Bain. Kick it to the left of Chaz Cock. Back to Stevenson. Turns, spins. Can't find a shot. Back out to Moore. Around the circle. Moore. A three ball falling away. Baseline will not go. Rebound pulled down by Vancouver. Murray with it. Drives against Moore. Puts the shot up and it curls off the glass up and in. Andre Murray. 37 tonight. 137, 134, three-point Vancouver lead. Minute 45 left to go. Mo off of the screen, looking for Nick Moore, or mark that, Mo, two more, back over through Freeman, two more to tie it. Baseline, triple slash. Yeah. 21 for Nick. Nick comes back, pumping his fist. All tied at 137. Minute 25 left. Murray, off of the screen by Bain. Cock plays over the top, they'll dump it down inside the paint. Hampton puts it up, side of the backboard, grabbed off here by Stevenson. Jacob on the push, lob to Chaz Cock, caught it along the baseline, fans it back out to Jacob, top side to Moe, kick it in the corner, another three for Moore, no, won't go. Rebound pulled down by Vancouver, Largent with it. All tied at 137, a minute left to go. Murray. Top of the circle. Going to step into a triple right in front of Chaz Cock. Won't go. Rebound tipped out. Freeman has it. He'll get it to Mo. 50 seconds left to go. Mo across the timeline. 18 on the shot clock. They'll set it up at the top of the floor. Double post here. Cock to the right. Moore to the left. Bounce it to Nick. He'll look. Can't get it to Freeman. Six on the shot clock. Get it to Jacob. Down to four. Three. He'll drive. Step back at the elbow. Jumper up. Won't go. It's caught. Put back up. No. Shot clock violation. Mo caught it in the air. The slam will get a two for one here. 27.8 in the game clock. 24 on the shot clock. So they'll give him another chance no matter how this plays out. The Volcanoes were looking to call a timeout. Both the head coach Navarro and his assistant coach up saying, no, we don't have any timeouts. Three-second differential here between game and shot clock as it will be brought up here by Andre Murray. 
Just across the timeline, he's picked up by Chaz Cox. 16 seconds left to go, on modded at 137. Murray just yo-yoing it out in front. Cox measuring him defensively. Nine seconds, eight. They'll cross over left, cut down inside the lane, flip it up with a finger roll, it will not go. Rebound tip, put back off glass, up and in with seven tenths of a second. It comes in off of Freeman's hands oh. and out of bounds. Oh no. Three tenths of a second left and this one's gonna go to the Volcanoes. All they gotta do is inbound the ball. The officials here, the ball will go all the way back to the baseline. The ball, the ball should be over here. It shouldn't be along the baseline. It was touched. The ball got touched. Touched. The yeah. officials discussing it here. They will not change. They do change it. Seven tenths of a second left now here in the ball game. Looks like he Hampton got the yeah. bucket on the putback. The inbound will come. Murray will flip it up, and that is the ball game. Well, 